All right, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing all right. Um, this is gonna be one of our first projects of the year. Um, this might remind you of some things that we've done before when you were in kindergarten in the first grade. Uh, basically what we're doing is we are going to draw an owl. We're gonna work on this together. Um, the reason we're doing this and the reason I said it will probably remind you of some things from from some of your earlier years in school uh, It's it's a good good practice to think about things in their their most simple forms um, You can take simple shapes and combine them to make something more complicated Sometimes it's really hard to sit down and just try and draw a thing even if you're looking at a picture of it, but if you think about the shapes that combine together to make that thing, it can be a lot easier. Um, now the difference between what we did say in kindergarten and this is now we're only working on a bit of it together. A lot more of the decisions are gonna be yours. Um, and this will also be a more detailed, more complicated drawing. So we are going to draw an owl and hopefully we learned about some things in the owl video that we watched uh, just a moment ago. Some of the shapes and uh, details that our owl has um, are from the real world, from the video that we watched, but it's still a drawing. Um, ours is going to look, you know, a little more cartoony than than realistic. So, all right, so let's start. I am using a marker so you can see it. I would like you guys to use a pencil. You'll need a pencil, piece of paper, something to color with here in a little bit. All right, so I want my paper tall like this, not sideways, tall. And I'm gonna go ahead and start by drawing what's gonna be like the outline of my owl's body. And it's gonna be a big letter U. All right, so if this is the outline of my owl's body, obviously I need to do something up here to finish off this shape. I'm gonna connect the two top parts of my U with a line that curves up just a little bit. All right, so now we've got our owl's body. Uh, right now it does not look like an owl, it probably looks like uh, a policeman's badge or uh, an emoji sticking its tongue out. All right, now, this is my entire owl's body, but I need to kind of divide it up so we can see the difference between the head and the rest of the body. Now, in the video, they talked about the feathers around the face being special. Um, that's actually what helps them hear, what helps them channel sound into their ears. So that's why a lot of times when we see owls, and especially pictures of owls, there's a real big difference between the face and the body. So to make the face shape, I'm gonna use two letters. I'm gonna use a W and then a little bitty V. I'm gonna start here with my W. And then right underneath it, I'm gonna do a V for his beak. As I'm drawing, you can follow along with me. If you need to pause between the steps, that's fine too. If you wanna watch this, then then go back and try and do it after you've seen the, the final version, that's fine. Whatever makes this easy for you guys. All right, one of the things they talked about in our video um, on a certain kind of owl are the bumps, the feathers that go up that make it look kinda like ears, even though we learned that those are not. So our owl is gonna have some of those. I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna draw a line that goes up and then comes back down. So it's like a, a really short but wide triangle. I'm gonna do another one over here. Like that. All right, for my eyes, I'm going to start with some really big ovals because owls have big eyes. It helps them see, especially at nighttime which is when they're hanging out. All right, now the eyes are not done. Right now it looks like uh, maybe an owl, but whatever it is, it looks like it's something wearing like a superhero mask. So I need to go ahead and add some circles for the pupil part of the eyes. 
And then I'm going to go one more step. If you're happy with how your eyes look, that's fine. I want to go ahead and give mine some eyelids. So I'm going to draw a line right there and right there. All right, so we've got our body, we've got our head. Let's start with the other parts of our owl. Now, if our owl was flying, which he's not, we would see his wings spread out. But our owl is just going to be kind of standing there on a branch maybe up in his tree. So his, his wings will actually be down at his sides right now. So to show that, I'm going to do a line that starts near the top of his body, curves out and back in, and then one that matches it over on the other side or as close to matching as I can get. All right, so we said he was standing, so we need to see his legs and feet. Over on this side, I'm gonna do one, two lines that go down. That's for one leg. Over here, I'm gonna do one, two lines that go down. That's for the other leg. Now, birds that, uh, birds that hunt for their food, like owls, um, they've got really sharp, uh, claws on the end of their feet and they're called talons. So we want to make these look kind of sharp. I'm going to use a real skinny letter V. One, two, three times. I'm going to do the same thing over here for this foot. One, two, three times. Sorry, that's, uh, that's the school bell. Alright, now we've got all the main parts, there's one more detail we want to add, and that's going to be our feathers on his body. Now, the way we want to do that, it's really easy, but there's one thing that you can do to kind of make it look even a little more realistic. <clears throat> so I'm going to start uh, right kind of below my beak, and I'm going to do a line that goes down and comes back up. And basically, I'm making the letter U right next to itself over and over and over and I'm going to keep doing that as I go down but I want to make the pointy part of my U go into the round part beneath it so it'll look something like this and all that we're trying to show when we do that that way is that our feathers are kind of overlapping each other and they're layered I'm going to keep going till I get down to the bottom. Like that. Now, you don't have to make your feathers as big as mine were. You can make them a little smaller. I will say, though, the teeny, tiny, itty bitty little feathers, um, it might not end up looking exactly how you're picturing it. So I would still keep them kind of big. All right, guys, so that is kind of it um, for our main owl. Now it's up to you to uh, give it a background, color it. After you've drawn this in pencil, if you have a marker, you can go ahead and trace over your lines like we do. That's just to make our, our shapes show up even better. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one, but I'll speed it up so I don't waste a bunch of your time. All right, here we go. All right, guys, <clears throat> so there's my owl. Um, I would go ahead and you know, finish coloring my background, probably add some more details, things like that. But as you can see, we don't need to worry about like uh, what an owl would actually look like because we're, we're making these. So that's why I decided to go with colors that we would definitely not see on an owl in nature. Um, that's it. Hope everybody is doing well. Can't wait to see some pictures of your finished owls and I will see you guys later. Bye.